We just uh, are so glad that you are tuning in, and uh, we just want you to know that through all the uncertainty that has happened because of uh, this coronavirus and all the challenges that are coming, uh, all of us, every single person, and really there's not a, there's not a person uh, on this planet that is not some way or somehow affected by what is going on right now. It is honestly one of those things that has, has put the, the community of brotherhood and sisterhood all over the world in one place. People in Africa, people in Asia, people here in America, people within our local, uh, uh, in our local ga uh, gatherings and communities. Everybody is facing the same thing. But can I tell you what everybody is not doing? Everybody is not going through it the same way. And can I tell you why? Let me tell you why. The reason we can go through certain things and are able to face certain things is because what do we place our hope in? And who do we place our hope in? If you place your hope in anything or, or anybody else, including a government, here's what we know about governments. They come, they go, they rise, they fall. Empires rise and empires fall. But here's what we know that we as Christians, as Christ followers, and here at the Rock Church, we want you to know this. This is what you can know. And that is that our God never changes. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And I just want to encourage you. You know, we know this is difficult. We know... This is hard. We know this is something unprecedented for all of us. None of us, no person that's alive right now has ever faced this kind of calamity, this kind of, this kind of news that's bombarding us moment after moment after moment. And, and literally, it's like, take, it's like a heavyweight fight, and we're taking one blow after another after another. But who's going to stand in the end? Can I tell you who's going to stand? Those who have their feet planted securely on the rock Christ Jesus. Where are we planted? Jesus promised us this. He says the storms are going to come. It doesn't matter who you are. He says the storms are going to come. The difference is who's going to last where you build your house on. If you build your house on, on sinking sand, it's going to go down. But if you build your house on the rock Christ Jesus, it's going to stand. Listen to what the apostle Paul prays for the Romans. I love this. Let me read this to you. It's out of Romans 15, 13. It says this, I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. There's the key. Because you trust in him. Then, when you do that, you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. How can we be confident in times like these? How can we be confident in moments like this? You know why? Because number one, we know where our source is. Where do we get our hope from? We get it from God. Number two, we know in whom we trust. Who do we trust? Christ Jesus, our rock, the rock of ages, the Prince of Peace, the Prince of life. We trust in him. Yes, things are bad, but guess what? God is good in the midst of things being bad. And maybe you're saying, well, how in the world is God good in the midst of all this that are bad? Because I tell you what, his love, his love, and his grace is available to us. And this confident hope that we can have, you can experience it. And above all, he says this, we get as a gift. What do we get? We get joy and what else? Peace. Right now, I think there's a lot of people that need peace. And my friend, let me tell you something. The only place where you can find that peace is with Jesus. Why? Because everything else will change. People might even change. But God will never change. So while we go through this, while we're all experiencing this, some of us are going to be shaken. Other, others of us are not. Why? Because of who we trust in. So place your trust in Christ Jesus. As a Christ follower, there's no reason for you to be shaken. As a Christ follower, there's no reason for you to be alarmed. Jesus told us difficult times are going to happen. But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Jesus has already overcome. So let's put our faith and our trust in him. And let's allow ourselves to be filled with hope. We love you. We appreciate you. And we pray today that God, the source of hope, will fill you with joy and peace as you overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Not in my might, not in my strength, but by the power and strength of the Holy Spirit. Be strengthened today as you put your trust in Him.